everyone. This is Michelle Grimolia, the president and CEO here at Woodland Pond, and this is my weekly address for a Tuesday. Fix this a little bit. Today is Tuesday, November. Hang on a second. Hold on with this. Tuesday, November uh, 7th, 2023. So first and foremost today, I hope that everybody gets out and votes. It's very, very important to vote. No matter who you vote for, you can see that I have my sticker on. I voted on my way into work today. So I hope that you do everything that you can to get out and vote. Very, very important. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go through the list of things that I've got today. Uh, we have... Um, the first thing that I wanted to mention is a little bit of a, well, actually, let's go through calendar things. That's what I usually start with. Uh, on Thursday, we've got uh, in the morning, a little bit of a self selfless plug. Uh, we are doing a holiday series card making workshop that is partially brought to you by Suscom and partially brought to you by my family. Um, this was inspired by the Buy Less holiday uh, theme that the Sus Suscom is bringing to Woodland Pond this year. And my mother has been a handmade card maker for many years. And I thought, how great would it be if she could come and um, bring um, complimentary supplies to Woodland Pond? Um, she has got uh, the prototypes made. If you haven't been in the mail room, she's got the Thanksgiving samples ready. She's going to bring along with her assistant, which is my father, Rusty, um, three hot Thanksgiving themed cards. We've got spots for 15 residents. There's a couple of spots left. Please sign up if you'd like to do the card making on Thursday morning in the art studio. That starts at 1030. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, it's a great time to spend with your neighbors and I'd love to see you there in the art studio on Thursday morning. So that's brought to you by Suscom. And then we're going to do another se um, session for Hanukkah, one for Christmas, and then for New Year's. Uh, that's it again, 1030 in the art studio on Thursday. Also on Thursday, um, also brought to you by Suscom, we've got a great presenter. His name is David Shepler. He's actually the mind and the, uh, I guess, uh, brains behind Zero Place, which is the apartment complex or building um, down at the bottom of um, 32, and I guess it's Henry W. Du Bois there in New Paltz. And it's basically a zero energy or net zero energy apartment building or apartment complex there. And um, he's gonna talk to us all about how the, um, the idea behind the building and how it came to be, and then how we, that can be scaled up. And um, it's really a fascinating concept. Uh, I've learned so much about how the, the actual infrastructure of that building came to be together. Um, how it was filled and marketed, and then how that's scalable to other projects, how the concepts for zero place can be applied to other sorts of construction, things like that. So if you're interested in that project, David Shepler will be here at 2 p.m. on Thursday in the pack. Um, obviously, we talked about voting. Uh, I think at this point, I believe that we've contacted all of our known veterans to make sure that you've signed up uh, or RSVP no thank you for our Veterans Day breakfast on uh, Friday morning from 9 until 1030 a.m. Uh, if you have not responded to let us know if you're coming, please do so today. It's a great breakfast. We've done it for a number of years now. You and your significant other, your spouse are invited. Uh, I do hope that you can join us. I will be here on Friday, even though it is a Woodland Pond holiday. It's something that I always have done for all of the years I've been at Woodland Pond. It's very important to me to come and honor our vets. Um, but we do have a nice hot breakfast that we do on Veterans Day for to honor our veterans. And then we do a wonderful Veterans Day program starting at 1.30. Um, this year, it will be in the great room. So um, the... Breakfast on Friday is by invitation only, and you do need to RSVP for that if you haven't yet. And then the Great Room uh, program at 1.30 on Friday is open to all, so we hope to see you. And then on Sunday at 4.30 in the pack, we have the Bucket List Band, um, which is six women, all in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, 
um, including Susan Griss, who plays here as part of the Starlight Trio. And um, they will be here performing at 4.30 in the pack on Sunday. So we hope to see everybody there. Um, last call for anybody that's interested in joining us at the Ulster County Chamber of Commerce uh, breakfast that we are sponsoring on Wednesday the 19th, I think it is. Just check the date on that. I'm sorry, Wednesday the 15th. So a week from tomorrow at Wiltwick Golf Club that starts at 7.30 in the morning and we can provide transportation to that. Uh, transportation would depart from here at 6.45 a.m. Um, and the guest speaker for that is Dr. Wheeler, who is the president of SUNY New Paltz. That is a great opportunity for you to see Dr. Wheeler speak, but also to um, do some networking there at that breakfast. So if you're interested in that, I think we have a couple of seats left. You can let concierge know. Again, that's next Wednesday uh, at the Wiltwood Golf Club in Kingston. Uh, let's see, Mary Jo has asked me to remind everyone that if you haven't performed the survey yet that's available at Concierge for our Mount St. Mary's nursing students, uh, there are two surveys, one on sleep and one on your physical activity habits. You can go ahead and fill those out. And I know that the nursing students are planning on presenting the results of those surveys in the pack on Thursday morning, uh, I believe is when that's happening. So you can go ahead and fill those surveys out. Again, they're located at Concierge and they just take a couple of minutes. So you can go ahead and fill those out. Uh, Marion Malqui has um, asked us to thank everyone for how well the flu uh, RSV and COVID clinic went yesterday in AL and GV. She said everyone was great. So thanks again to everybody for your participation in the uh, shot and vaccine clinic yesterday in assisted living and garden view. Um, there are a couple more upcoming clinics being done by uh, Dedrix. For those that have an interest in ongoing vaccines, you can sign up with Dedrix. So they can give you additional information on what's available. You can go see Jean in Dedrix for additional information on what's available there. Uh, free store information. We are trying to decide and determine if we can free up our very, very busy common spaces to see if we can do our traditional holiday free store. And for those of you that have been around here um, for years, you know that normally we do try to do a campus-wide free store um, a few weeks before the holidays to um, you know, collect items in a larger scale and then have those be available to staff for free storing. But it's been a little bit challenging as um, all of our common areas have gotten busier and busier with meetings and um, activities and things over the years. We are looking to see if we can make it work. But for right now, the way free stores have been working is we do collect items. And then when an apartment or cottage is opened by a family, or a resident for a free store, when they vacate, we put additional items that we've collected from other residents into those free stores. So if you do have items that you'd like to put into a free store, um, you can contact either the concierge or Carrie Burns in Environmental Services Department, and we can add your items to an existing free store. And then your items will go, um, again, up for uh, donation in that free store. And um, again, you can contact concierge or um, Carrie Burns in the environmental services department to give your um, gently used items um, into those free stores. Uh, let's see, two more things. One is an announcement type thing, and then one is a, a heads up kind of thing. Um, I think a lot of you know that we have had plans in place, we, we had um, entered into an agreement with an organization to place solar panels on the existing cottages. Um, the organization was going to be at risk for those panels, and then we were going to obviously have solar offsets for our electric on those cottages. And it's been really slow moving. We haven't seen any activity on that. Um, and with everything basically based with electric, we've had delays. Obviously you can see the electric vehicle charging stations are still kind of very slowly moving along. And uh, we had some electrical delays related to the new cottages and so forth. It's just the way of the world. Um, 
but we unfortunately received over the weekend a formal notification that the uh, contractor has pulled out of that solar panel project on the cottages. So we're very disappointed in that. Uh, but um, we have not lost our motivation related to renewable energy. And uh, Tom Tango, our director of uh, physical plant and operations, has um, created a request for proposals related to sustainable energy. Um, he has created it in a broad manner, meaning that he has not limited it to solar energy uh, and he has not limited it strictly to the cottages. So he is just confirming a few aspects of that with uh, actually with the Walk Hill Valley Land Trust, who is our uh, steward of our conservation easement land to determine what we can and cannot do um, in the easement land. We believe we cannot do anything in the easement land, but he's just confirming that and he wants to make sure that that's clear in the RFP. Um, but assuming that's the case, the RFP for sustainable energy will go out and be available to the public for any organization or company uh, that would like to look at our property um, in all aspects and put forth some sort of a proposal related to renewable energy options, whether it be solar um, or any other type of renewable energy. Uh, so we are back to square one on that. And we wanted to make that announcement to the community. Um, so once that RFP is available, if you know a individual, a company, uh, an organization that might be interested, you certainly can take that RFP and share it. Uh, okay, the final thing I wanted to mention and um, I did allude to this, I think, on a prior uh, weekly address, but there is going to be a formal checklist coming out, hopefully today, so you can look for this in your email on our listserv um, and in your mailbox, is uh, we do need everyone to start really auditing your very important paperwork that you have on file with Woodland Pond and in your emergency packets that should be located in the cabinet above your microwave um, or near your microwave, I guess, um, because this is where EMS looks if you have an emergency. And um, we have found that much of the information that you have in those packets or that you have on file with us in terms of the emergency stuff is outdated uh, or not applicable anymore. So uh, I'm not gonna go into the list of what we need here because it's lengthy and you're not gonna have time to write it down, but, uh, I am going to be issuing a checklist and uh, the things that we need you to be looking for. For those of you that have had a um, annual visit with Sarah recently, she this is something that she normally goes through with you, but you don't need to wait for the annual visit for that. I know Mary Jo you know, puts this in the newsletter from time to time, but we need you to do a little bit of a deeper dive on this and we need to make sure that the information is applicable and current. It's really important. Um, and so we're going to ask you to begin sort of doing some of the legwork on this, um, because then we are going to have one of our staff members really start going through in depth and making sure that what we have on file makes sense and, um, is applicable and accurate. Uh, but we don't want to start from scratch. We really want you to start helping us to do this, um, because we don't want to get into a situation where you're having a health or medical emergency um, and cannot speak for yourself. These pieces of information and in writing really need to be able to speak for you. Uh, so we are going to issue a checklist and give you some homework. Obviously, this is information that is not mandatory to do, but it is very important. And so we hope that you take this time seriously and actually spend the time to do this. Uh, it doesn't help us only. I mean, of course it will help us, but it will help you um, in the event of an emergency or if something happens to you. So um, look forward to that and uh, we, will, we will be able to help you with that as well. I am around the rest of the week. If you need anything, uh, you know where to find me. And I hope that you absolutely positively get outside today. It is gorgeous out. It should not be like this on a November 7th. So use voting as the excuse, use my voice as the excuse, whatever it is. When I'm looking out the window, it is sunny, it is mild. Please go outside, sit on your porch, 
go for a walk, whatever it is, but please go outside and enjoy the day. And I will see you all soon. Thank you.